Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here, with a deck that I've been wanting to show off for a wire. <laughs> a wire. With a deck that I've been wanting to show off for quite a while, this is Eerie Cycling. Based off of the card Eerie Ultimatum, return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. Permanent cards with different names. So permanence means, in this case, creatures, lots and lots and lots and lots of creatures, and lands even. We have lands that can cycle, like Secluded Step, Barren Moor, Tranquil Thicket. If we happen to have one, we would have the Selesnia Cycle Land as a one of as well. Uh, so the idea behind the deck is pretty simple. Your win conditions are two. Well, three. You can either win off of a giant, well, four. Giant Flourishing Fox. So yeah, just play Fox McCloud over here. Or, and cycle until you had this thing huge and went off that. Or, make a ton of tokens with Valiant Rescuer and just swarm the field. Or, make a giant Vile Manifestation. And the Fox and the Manifestation can be given Trample with Titanoth Rex. Or they can be given Lifelink with Splendor Mare. Or, you could just swarm the field with Eerie Ultimatum after the game's gone on for long enough. This may not be the optimal... Uh, way that the list would look. A few things to point out here. The one, the ones that are wing cons and uh, not sandworm, uh, monitor, need to be four ups. Need to be. And the reason is because they're wing conditions. You want to find them as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, monitor, while it cycles uh, for four mana, so the most expensive one, it gets a land or a desert and puts it on the battlefield. In other words, it ramps you. It ramps you into Eerie Ultimatum. So this one can't really go. The ones that can't are Flourishing Fox, Valiant Rescuer, Vile Manifestation, and uh, Chef at Monitor. But everything else can be a one or a two of because, remember, Ultimatum cares about them having different names. So if you keep piling on a bunch of four ofs, you're not going to get as much value out of this. For instance, there's one Dranith Healer. There maybe could be more, but I have one. I have two Splendor Mares because when they cycle they put a lifelink counter on. Titanoth Rex cycle puts a trample counter on. And it would be more because again, Flourishing Fox and Vile Manifestation really appreciate that. A uh, one Wasteland Scorpion as a Death Touch creature that also cycles. Just maybe stalls you a bit. Archfiend of Ifnir, Horror of the Broken Lands. A uh, Greater Sandworm is one that could possibly go down some number. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven, and when you get it off of Ultimatum, it's great. But, it and it cycles for two, but maybe it doesn't need to be a four of. Maybe I could have, for example, another healer, as we're just quickly <laughs> swapping some things around about the... Oh, excuse me, around about the deck. So, one other thing you can do, let's just look up all of the creatures with cycling that we could put into this deck. So, we have all of the white ones, as you can see. We have... Oh, and whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Collected and not collected. We have all of the white ones except for one from Amonkhet Remastered, which actually could go in here. <laughs> there we go. Put one of Ketra's Attendant in. You're never actually going to embalm this card, but if you somehow need to, if you've been hit with a Wrath, for instance, you'll at least have some way uh, to get this thing back. So let's craft that really quickly. It's just an uncommon, and I have 26 left. Um, so as for black ones... We don't care about Gym Palm Polluter, because while it is a 4-3 that cycles for black-black, that's okay. We don't get anything extra out of its cycling ability, because we don't have that many zombies. Off the top of my head, I don't remember us having any, but... Uh... I mean... That turns it into a zombie. Uh, but no, for real, zombies aren't exactly a thing right here. Uh, you could put Hollow One into the deck, that would be an interesting one to have. Um... Not sure what I'd cut for it. And now, Crows and Tusker is less to cycle, and it makes a 6-5, uh, but, so it's the same as the Shepherd Monitor, but you don't actually ramp. It puts it in your hand, it doesn't actually put it on the field. So this one doesn't make the cut, in my estimation. Uh, if you were to add one more, we'll take out the last Sandworm and put in <laughs> a hollow one. There we go. Again, it's still a great card, and feel free to have more, and it's a common, so it might be more accessible. I just happen to have a lot more uncommons, as you can see here. Uh, but again, having a bunch of one-ups makes more sense for maximizing the value that you can get off of Ultimatum. 
And that's about it. There's a few other things I want to mention. You can run Void Beckoner, but the Death Touch isn't as consequential, usually, as Lifelink and uh, Trample. And while it's an 8-8, it's an 8-8 with Death Touch, so it gets Chump Blocked. It cycles for 3 mana instead of 1 or 2. It's not as impactful, I, I would say. And then Mythos of Nethroi for remo uh, yeah, removal. This is something that I had in the deck before I started adding more cyclers, even more cyclers. And so with that, let's jump into some games. Get a few in uh, pretty quickly, hopefully. As I've been testing the deck, it seems pretty solid. I haven't actually won with Ultimatum yet. I've won before that point. So the opponent sees that I have like a Flourishing Fox that's a 9-9, or a Swarm of Tokens, and that's usually enough. But if you can get that far, then Ultimatum's pretty sick. Ta-da! All right. Let's see, so we'll definitely go first here, of course. We get the, the trio. That's nice. Hmm. All of our shock lands for this color combination. Hold up, uh, saying hello, as you do. <laughs> Hi. I think it's supposed to be like but I'm just gonna say that. That's how I pronounce it. Fubblethub, something like that. Fubblethub. This is probably the one to show off first. And then pass. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, cycle real quick. And play our 1 4 prop. Well, hmm. Actually. Actually, instead we'll play you. Play our Valiant Rescuer. If it dies, that's okay. It got to soak one of those up. Hmm. See what we get? Alright, we got something. Hmm. Play you. I have a sneaking suspicion this rescue is going to die. Nope. Never mind. There. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I got a spirit vibe from looking at those lands and them not having played anything yet. Thinking that they might have some rattle chains or something like that. Spectral Sailor. Okay. I already like what they're doing because I've played Bant Ramp already entirely too much and a healthy amount of Bant Ramp. Okay, well, well, in before Wraths start destroying me, start destroying me, destroy me further, hurt me plenty. All right, cycle. We'll get a swamp. Let's see. That's generally the most important. It is the main color of the deck uh, because it's the one that you need the most of for uh, ultimatum. Although white is the one that you need the most on turn one. Of course. Of course. Well, it's a little too late for Flourishing Fox, unfortunately. All right, let's see what they have. We'll just cycle it next turn. It is a uh, cycle for one, thankfully. All right. Let's see what they might have going on. Ugin pretty soon, I imagine. We're getting pretty close to Ugin territory. Oh, and that won't be fun. Okay, 420 Cloud Blaze it. Make another. Yep, and it's a 2 2. Hmm, okay.
Yeah, seems alright. Seems good. Little good. A lot good. Alright. Let's cancel. Let's cycle first. Alright, what do we get? A Splendor Mare. On the extreme off chance that this actually works. Let's see. I don't think we're worried too much about the life total in this matchup. So we'll play this out. And we have a Splendor Mare to be able to give it lifelink. If somehow we get to that point. I'm not playing the other one though. I don't want to die to a Wrath. Do we want to attack here? They will absolutely make the trade. I don't think we do. Let's not. Let's not say we didn't. Growth Spiral. Okay. Well, do you have it? They're going to play Uro pretty soon. I have a sneaking suspicion. Alright. If I had attacked, they also would have had enough for Uro, because they have five now, counting him. Another one. Okay. Well, geez. Actually, the fact that this is high CMC further solidifies to me that they're playing uh, Ugin, if they have it. Because, you know, they can put it on a, a high number, like four, and still get to keep their own board. Uh... Sure, we'll do it now. All right, put it on the 6-4. Eerie Ultimatum. With one mana left. What could go wrong? Um... I don't know that I want to cast it yet, though, to be honest. I think it's probably better for me to attack here. We are getting flooded hard, aren't we? Alright. Interesting. Okay. All right. I dare you. I dare you. All right. And then we'll play this tapped. Pass the turn. I dare you. Ugin. Wrath of God. Okay, that works too. Now they can play her own. Ooh, looking forward to it. There you are. Hey, buddy. They left Wrath of God in the, in the graveyard. Huh. Okay. Ball again recovery. You never know. I, I suppose you never know. Alright, and if they have another one, choose different names. Okay, sure. And you, and you, and you, and you. Bang. I like the sound of that. Alright. Where is your god now? <laughs> Something like that. Another Cloud Blazer, as you do. As you do, I suppose. Sadly, none of these draw a card when they enter the battlefield, because they draw a card when they don't. Alright. I mean, also to be fair, the Vile Manifestation is smaller now. There's only one creature on my board that on its own will kill the Uro. Right, no reason for them not to attack here. I would say. Bang. Alright, Wrath. Do it! Oh, okay. This is not what I expected. Not exactly. Hmm. 
Alright. What else do we have going on? At least it's a bigger manifestation. They need to double block now. I swear. I swear. Oh no, they're one mana shy. Okay. One, two, they're gonna be one mana shy this turn. And even if they did, they had they pulled a planes. Okay. What do we have? Oh, different one. Man, I do. I am not a big fan of this, to be honest. All right, we'll cycle this instead. Makes the manifestation bigger. Makes them bigger. Cycle this. Oh, jeez, you idiot! You got the fox, but you didn't get the rescuer. Okay. Well, I'm a genius. Attack with these. See what they do. I don't think we need to worry too much about the uh, the lifelink. Alright. Yep, can only kill one. We're working our way back up at least. Alright. In turn. Let's see what we have. What do we have? Come on, deck. Get me there. Take me home. We can actually use Ultimatum to get another uh, Vile Manifestation out. Because it doesn't count ones that are already on the field, of course. Alright. Well... This might not be a list with any counter spells, Which I guess I can't... Okay. Let's see. I can't argue with. Alright, that's a 3-3. Three, three. Put this in the same deck as Psy. Just for the memes. Put, the, put that in the same deck as Snoop Dogg. For Cloud, but yeah, okay. There we go. And it's a 7-7 seven, seven now. Yeesh. Alright. Put it on to... Vile Manifestation. Okay. If we need to jump block, at least we have one ones for days. At least. Alright. Um... I want to actually cycle this now so that I have a better idea before I attack with Flourishing Fox. Oh, man. I still don't know yet, because I want to save the Titanoth Rex for later. We can, we can wait on it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Bang. Alright, go to 27. Pay the 2. And I guess we can pass the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Draw all the cards. I like what your deck is doing. I've played something very similar, albeit before Cloud Blazer was a card. And without the Immortal Sun. Oh boy. Not again. You stop that. <laughs> you stop that right away. Huh. Yeah, I was hoping I could close the game out a little bit sooner than this. Skyclave Apparition. Let's see what they're going to hit here. And it does Exile. Ooh. Okay. Monk S. Alright. Target you. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Ah, uh, you stop that.
Yeah, and it exiles. That's a that's a bummer. Whoa! For real? Well, I mean, I already used it this turn. I don't gain any value out of doing it now. But I guess we'll cycle just to make sure. Double ultimatum. Holy cow. Holy cow. Uh, we're looking okay. You stop this! This is what happens when they get to draw a billion cards. Then again, I guess so do we. Alright. Well, it can only block the one. So this doesn't have reach. Block. Okay. Alright. Moment of truth. We can go monitor again. Cycle it. Oh, we already have one in the graveyard, don't we? That's okay. It works out. Let's make sure we do this correctly, though. White, white. Black, black, black. Wait. Green, green. Black, 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 white. Alright, so let's get a planes. Here we go again. Oh, sh Here we go again. All of the Toya. Actually, I could have attacked with the Vantasaur. It has Vigilance, and if they wanted to kill it, they had to block with at least one creature that would have died. So actually, I could have attacked there. Oh, God. Okay, this is actually very different than what I have been doing. I'll give the good game. That was cool. That was admittedly kind of cool. Alright. Way y'all. You know what? Let's give him the no blocks. <laughs> See how low we can get it. Negative 174. We tried, folks. We <laughs> To be fair, we tried. Triple Skyclave Apparition. What are you even supposed to do? <sighs> okay, let's give that one another go. That that seemed cool. That was an experience. <sighs> oh, gosh. I need a, a bar right above me so I can just pull myself up. Just to stretch the back a little bit. We'll keep. Oh, maybe a bit early. They might have seen it. Probably didn't see it. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what order we end up using, casting them in. Flourishing Fox is one million percent, ten billion percent, one of those cards that can take over the game on from turn one. Oh, and it hopefully will. Although, we are going to hurt ourselves quite a bit here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Alright, cycle trample onto it, and hope it lives. Let's try not to keep hurting ourselves, though, if we can help it. Yeah, if they somehow manage to block there, that would be... <laughs> that would be great. That would be ideal for us. Alright, so attack, we take, we'll take two. Alright. Hmm. Itchy nose is itchy. We're going to start needing to make some smaller creatures now, aren't we? Um, let's cycle here instead. This is risky, a little bit. Aha! Of course, I keep finding shock lands. 
Which I guess is a good problem to have, but dang. This is about to hurt. Uh, why am I playing this main phase? Jay, you genius. Why am I playing this main phase? Alright. Oh, they're cat. Ow. Oh, is it just to turn on spectacle? Skewer. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay. So that happened. So that happened. Huh. How about we not do that anymore? I mean, how many cards do they have in hand? Two? About to be three? And then the text on this is damage to an opponent, it deals damage... okay. Yeah, let's let's not then. Let's let it come in tapped. Okay. <sighs> it's not looking too high. It's not looking too great. So no matter what, Scorch Spitter is going to cause it to deal one damage to one of our creatures. And then Magma will do the same. If we can make it one more turn, we can cycle the monitor and make two three fours and a four four. But we're not going to make it another turn, I suspect. Though this is taking them a while. Yeah, having the triple shock land was a pain. Absolute pain. Alright. So, poke whichever one you'd like. Ow. Do it. Alright. Can you get me? Lightning strike. Yeah, scratch the monitor plan. That's not happening. Maybe I should have taken a risk and cycled the rescuer, but shocking myself four times, starting at 12, doesn't seem all that great. Alright. Slaying part. Yep, they got me. Good game. They got me. They got me. Hey, what can you do? Slaying fire is the adamant. It's three damage unless it's adamant, then it's four damage. <sighs> Good times. Yeah, that that was a... That played that same game out, but without the shock lands. <laughs> making them into... Well, then again... I mean, I put them in there for a reason. We don't exactly have duels. I could have played fast lands, but it's an ultimatum deck. And even then, I don't have access to all that many fast lands. Just the enemy ones. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep. We'll go... Turn 1. Shrine... Blip blip. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Ah, uh, this again. Okay. Well, let's cycle first. See what we get. Hmm. We can actually hold up the triome to cycle it later on if we need to. All right. What is that? Thran Temporal Gateway? Oh god. Okay. Well, geez. That's not good. Es no bueno. Cycle now. Extra damage. We're gonna do it anyway. There we go. We can uh, cycle Monitor and then cycle Vantasaur, but if they played this thing out, I don't think we're winning. I have a sneaking suspicion we're not... No, artifacts, legendaries, and, hist and sagas. Well, planeswalkers are legendary now, so... Ugin. Hi, Ugin. 
I just always assume it's Ugin. Because it's always Ugin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not yet. Well, I guess we still have a little time to keep shocking ourselves then, so... Might as well. Sure. Pay the two. Cycle. Let's go and get a Swamp. And we can cycle you. Though we'll do it at the end of our opponent's turn. No reason to do it right now. Let's hide that information. Although I'm sure that they know. I'm sure. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Swear, do you have a Tormod script? You have a guardian idol. Okay. Um, no word on why I didn't cycle the Vantasaur earlier. In that case, I guess we'll wait. Let's see, so I have a shrine out, so we'll go temple, tapped, tapped, okay. Though in this matchup, I should have uh, let one of them be otherwise. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I like Upheaval as mu or Armageddon as much as the next guy. It looks like that's kind of what they're doing. They have mana rocks, so they get to abuse it. That's what it's looking like, anyway. Cycle. Alright. Cycle. Play a one mana hollow one. And... There we go. Pass the turn. There it goes again. Let's see. We can go Indatha, Godless Shrine. Just to make sure our colors work a little bit better. It'll still keep a decent number of cycling cards in the yard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Alright, what do we have? Another one? Do it again. Okay, you can't kill Hollow One. Hard as you might try, you can't kill Hollow One. Ah, no land, no land. Okay. It would have been nice to get an ultimatum there, but alas. Okay, so things we can do here. We can cycle you. We can use this. Cycle here. Alright. Got, got something. Oh, I should have played the Rescuer first. No, no, I shouldn't. That's right. Ugin's out. Ugin's out. I need to not play it first. Ah, not another one mana one. Alas. Well, okay then. Well, I'll make you do it. Alright. Ghostfire targeting Flourishing Fox. You know you want to. Otherwise, they'll do minus, and then they'll lose Ugin on the next turn. Except they won't, because we, they have Guardian Idol times two. So actually, they won't. If they see that line, then they're okay. Uh, Ugin minus one will save them from it. Ghostfire, and I'll just punish them for it. Although, that would still plus. So minus one versus a plus two. Oh, okay. Another one? Oh, no, you don't.
This does keep the number of lands pretty steady, though. Because I lose all my lands, but I can only get up to f uh, four back using this. Not that they care. Okay. Yep, alright. As expected. And they can use Guardian Idol. They can use one of the Guardian Idols. And they have a Mind Stone, so... Yeah, they can still use one of the Guardian Idols. Um, uh, sure. Oh, crap, you genius. This is Baron Moore. Alright, activate it. You genius. You scrub. You scrub. Okay. Well, I guess since I already made the mistake, we'll go Trium Tomb. Uh, pay two. Okay, what you got? We're never getting to cast this ultimatum. It's just not going to happen, unfortunately. I swear, what are we doing? Okay, what silliness do you have going on now? Oh, just a guardian idol, okay. I mean, I can live with that, at least, that's fine. That's fine, we'll make it work. Titanoth Rex, okay. Can't do both. Um, it does come in tapped. And I can get Ugin to where he won't be able to exile Rescuer without losing Ugin. We can make it work, I suppose. We can make this a thing. Cast it. And then... Jose. Here we go. The one hollow one. Pulling through for us. Alright. Make the last ones count, right? One. I'm gonna go double godless shrine. Tapped. Tapped. Yes, I could have psych I could have gotten one of them being green and cycled Titan on Thrax. I should have. I know it. I know it. Okay. So then Ugin Oh no, Ugin doesn't die here. That's right. Ugin doesn't die here. So I just made another misplay. Yeesh. Yeesh. I just gave them some value. You genius. Alright, stop stop slacking. <laughs> Alright, no cards in hand, at least. Thank God. Okay. I will cast this thing. I will cast this thing. If it's the last thing I freaking do, I will. Alright, forest. Alright. How many can they activate now? Two? I believe. Alright. I'm okay with that. Here we go. Gain my last little bit of life. Oh no, we're just doing it. We want to cycle the Titanoth Rex, actually. Because we want to get it back with Eerie Ultimatum. I think an 11-11 Trampler should do the job. Should. Hopefully. All right, what you got? What do you have? All right. Yeah, I don't know how much that's going to help them. Sadly, none of mine have haste. We're not exactly in haste colors. Red would be good for that. Green occasionally gets it. I think black very occasionally gets it. All right, what is it? I swear to God, is it another planes walker? You jerk. <sighs> All 
Uh, this is the, uh, <laughs> to quote uh, one of my viewers, Rukulin, from a Dark Souls stream I did. This is the moment that broke T1 Glisten Ralph. All right. Yes. Yes, that one. Land. 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 Not land. That's not a land. That's close. We're getting closer. All right. They one two. Okay. One two. Activate. One two. All right. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, here we go. There's one. There's the other. Double block. We'll go to 15. Okay. I mean, it's not it's not great. We're not in great shape here. Let's cycle first. Take action. Get a planes. Um. Let me check my yard one more time. We don't already have one in the graveyard. That's interesting. We can cycle an Archfiend of Ifnir. If I play a Vile Manifestation, they're going to be tempted to use Ugin to minus, which I'm okay with. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, can I use the land? Aha! No, no. I have to. I would have to cycle at nine. No, that's fine. That's fine. All right. You can't ghost fire it. Put your Ugin to seven, please. We'll we can still lose, but at least we'll get to keep a Titanoth Rex. If you plus, though, we don't get to keep anything. Oh boy. What's this? Oh boy! Oh no. I see that. I see where the, it's hovering. Oh no, what is this? What obnoxiousness is... Th That's game. That's game. <sighs> we'll fire it off. I, I think I intentionally want to not play everything in our yard, though. Alright, so Hollow One is good. Chef at Monitor is good. Anything that has a duplicate, or is a land, is good. Attendance, okay. Rescuer is fine. Except Titanoth Rex. We don't want that one to come out yet. I think. What's the biggest... We, so far we have six is the highest CMC going on right now. Flourishing Fox. That was probably not smart, but that's okay. At this point... In the, uh, yeah, oh! Jeez. Uh, okay. Well, we might get a reprieve at least. Good game. Because now Ugin's at one. Alright, well, we'll see. That's not much of a reprieve. In, in before another Ugin shows up, which would make it Ugin number three? Ring a ding ding. I'm going to call that. Ah. <sighs> We tried. <laughs> we tried. Ah they're they're breaking me, folks. They're breaking me. <laughs> All right, one more. One more, really quickly. Even if I win, though, it's going to roll me into the next day because of where I live and what time it is. It's going to roll me to the next day. Hi, Zim. 
Unless I went awfully quickly. Oh yeah, we'll keep. Alright. Give him the big hello. Yeah, alternatively, we could have cycled horror. We're gonna wait. We have a rescuer. We're going to wait. Ooh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Alright, there we go. I think I know exactly what this is. Show me a spirit dancer or a SRAM. You know you want to. Hushbringer. Ooh, okay. Well, that doesn't do anything for our deck, against our deck, but... I mean, I used to, I used to run that myself, and for a reason. Alright. Alright, what do we get? Right. Play this. At some point we're going to have to start actually attacking with something, but for right now we can pass. Because at least we'll be making some value. That will not stay a 1-2 for long though. It's about to gain Vigilance and first try. Oh, no, okay. Old list. That is an old list, then. Ooh, okay. That, on the other hand, makes some sense. Alright, well. Even if we had kill spells in the current configuration, they have Selfless Savior. Uh, and of course, as soon as I cycle the one that gives lifelink, I find a flourishing fox. Of course. Of course. Hmm. Alright. Let's play this. I'm gonna cycle it now. Since there's nothing I can... well, we'll attack first. Let's gain a little bit of life. They'll block my 3-1... Oh, no they won't. Never mind. Okay. Well... Hmm. Sentinel, now it has Vigilance. There it goes. It's a 6-10. It's a... Geez, it's an 814. Bad. Yeah, I'd say we're kind of. I'd say we're done. Probably. Probably. Okay. Another fox. Right on time, buddy. You poor thing. You had to come into this right on time. Alright. Nope. Nope. I just have to hope somehow you manage to not have another aura in that hand. Yeah, no, no, that's it. That's it. That's a good game. 1420. So almost, almost the magic number. You know what, even so I'm going to keep playing. Even though it's going to be on the next day, I will keep playing. Maybe we'll get another quest that'll uh, behoove us here. White or red spells? Well, we actually have white spells in the deck, so... We have green spells, we just don't cast them. Except for Eerie Ultimatum. You don't really cast your green cyclers. Not really. Come to think of it, we haven't come across Sandworm yet, have we? At least not that I... And of course, soon as I say something. Of course that's how this works. Get all of our colors right off. Then start doing some cycling silliness. Uh, sure. There we go. Hey. Oh, say hello. Ooh. 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 
I should have cycled the sandworm. That's the one that's least likely to be actually cast, so I can understand. That, that probably needed to go. Oh well. Yep, yep, yep. Punished. Punished for it. Okay then. Well, that's fine. We'll make it work. We can make it work. Cast that. Let it come in tapped. I have a 2-4. Won't be a 2-4 for long. Ruined Halo. Oh, wow. Uh, in before they put Nevermore in a future set. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun, won't it, for kids? Alright, let's cycle you. Ooh, okay. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. I can wait to see if I need to cycle it. Since they already know about it, I go, jeez. Jeez, dear God. Alright, well... Let's just dig. Life game doesn't matter anyway. I'll just dig. Yeah, I know, I can't, it can't get any counters. That is right, that is how that works. Huh, okay then. I'd like to do the Flourishing Fox and then the Monitor, so I guess I will. Alright, this is unfortunate. Can't deal damage anyway. Meddling Mage. Well, you know what's in my hand, so Eerie Ultimatum it is. Ooh. Ooh, okay. They could also say uh, Attend Wilt. Ooh! Yep, 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 yep. They have nine lives, Solemnity. They have the combo. They have assembled the combo. <laughs> also, what are, you, what are you supposed to do? What are you even supposed to do? This, the deck seems fine. It's not doing anything broken against those, though, unfortunately. I like the consistency, I like that we have a bunch of different ways to win, I like how explosive it can be later on, but, I mean, to be honest with you, it just seems somehow too slow. Okay, right on time, Fox. Alright, well it's alright, we'll cycle it anyway. Cycle the Baron more. Ooh, okay, let's do this n now. We get one draw a turn so it, Narset wouldn't stop the cycling there, but that's not particularly great. So if I cycle here to kill Narset, I don't get to actually draw a card. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Ah. You and you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I see that. They're one man away from being able to cast Ugin the Ineffable. Oh my god. Can you stop? Please? Pretty please? Oh no, Wrath of God, no! Well, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Attack here. Doing it that way. Then, let's cycle. At least we can get some ramp. Even if they happen to kill our creature, at least we'll get some ramp. Creatures. In turn. Okay. Moment of truth. Do it. You know you want to. 
You know that you want to. Okay, Ugin first. Alright. Whatever they kill, it does- oh, no, they're doing that. Alright. We'll cycle then. Hmm. Let's see. Splendor Mare. Give life link to you. Not that it matters, you're about to die to a wrath anyway. Right on time, rescuer. I kinda wanna save you, after all. Save you for later. Alright, so now no matter what they block with, uh, Ugin's dead. No matter what. So they'll- oh! They could've blocked just to get the extra card in hand. I'm not sure that I like they're not doing that. But it actually doesn't matter. I mean, it does, because Wrath is in hand, so... I guess if they attack here, they get two extra damage, but I don't think that's how they win. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not how they win. Karn. Oh, saving to protect Karn. Maybe I'm giving them too much credit, but I'd like to think that that's what's going on. Glass Casket. Eww, yeesh. Okay. Es no bueno. And this is all before Wrath of God gets to come down. Alright. Let's bait out the Wrath, I guess. Alright, as expected. Alright, resolve. Add it to hand. There we go. I guess I could have, but it's alright. Uh, I could have cycled there to get the extra token. And then if I cycled into a cycle card, I could get another token on top of that. Uh, it's okay. It's alright. I'm trying to get them to use that wrath as soon as possible, so all the more reason to have cycled earlier. Just don't know about my ultimatum. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Alright, what's the next one? Which one do you have next? God Pharaoh statue? Just to make me cry? No, it's Platinum Angel? That would make me cry. Wilt would be a nice card. Oh, Tormod's crit. Oh, this is that... Whoa, okay. Huh. That's unfortunate. That's a drag. Alright, don't play the crypt. They played the crypt. Folks, they played the crypt. In that case, we don't want to cycle the hollow one here. Let's just go on to my turn. We do want to cycle this, though. Attendant. Flying, cycling. Two. Well, it flies, so it can actually deal with Karn after plussing. Halloween has, has a bit of a, an issue with that. Alright, so we'll play this out. And pass turn. Okay, let me kill Karn, please. <laughs> In the meantime, you can attack with your glass casket. Or you can not. Oh, rats, couldn't bait them. <laughs> you can tell I'm trying so hard. When I saw the Tormod script, I thought that's what this was. I thought that that's what this was. Alright, we're, we're, I'm keeping on playing. I'm still having fun, and I still want to show the deck off. <laughs> but jeez! <laughs> Let the record show... 420. 420. Let the record show... Uh, Rooklyn and I were talking on our... on Discord. 
on the Historic Channel, I think it was, about a land destruction deck with Fall of the Thran six months ago? <laughs> it was a hot minute ago. And this is what happens when <laughs> great minds think alike, I suppose. Uh, Alright, we'll hang on to this. Cool, play it out. Flip. Give him the big hello. Oh, okay. Marvel. Marvel. Nope, this is the uh, uh, machine assembly combo, isn't it? Right, cycle now, because why not? Hiya. Next turn, I can go Manifestation Cycle Vantasaur. Ooh. Come on. Alright, so there's Narset. That's pretty good. Once again, the timing is impeccable on her. Her timing is impeccable, I should say. I guess we'll play this out, and then play it tapped. Don't want to lose that value. I could have killed her, but I would have lost out on a card. Plus, we want to play the Manifestation anyway. For the extra power. Oh, God. Okay. Well, Eerie Ultimatum doesn't work now. Why am I coming across all this random hate? What did I ever do to these people? Right? I mean, sure. Okay. Let's see. What did I ever do to you? We're on this game plan then. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Pass. Let's see if we can <laughs> steamroll them as quickly as possible. Another decoction module. Okay. Um, maybe this isn't what I think it is. I could be wrong. Alright, everybody gets bigger. You get bigger, and you get bigger, and you all get bigger. Okay. Ooh, Archfiend. Ooh. Ooh. I just turned into Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh! Right, we'll cycle onto the big gun. And finally, finally, <laughs> that drought was entirely too long. <laughs> We're an hour in with only two wins with this deck. I still think it's a cool deck. And I'm still going to keep playing with it some. Because it's a cool deck. <laughs> it's fun to play, I suppose. Alright, Last of Hate. I haven't played against you before. Oh, with a zero instead of an, uh, an O. Okay. Uh, yep. Let's go for it. Oh, it starts with a mountain, so... We'll actually let this come in tapped, then. Instead of letting it come untapped to Cycle Horror. Yep. Okay. Well, hmm. Of course. Um, let's make blockers for a big gobble, goblin turn? I guess? I guess that's what we're supposed to do, right? Ah, uh, Chieftain. Okay. Huh. No blocks. Let's see how this turns out. Um, cycle you, get a token. Um, you know what? I am actually tempted. Let's do it. See if they'll make the trade. They won't. Okay, good. I didn't think they would. There we go. Oh, here comes Moxus. Do, 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 do
I'm gonna say good game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> what was that turn? Jeez. Ah! That was turn four. That was turn four. So for a while, I thought that the meta was goblins were the best, and so I played, uh, like, Jeskai deck, so I could play Wrath of God and Settle the Wreckage. Turns out, if you can't get to four mana, though, what are you supposed to do? And the kinds of things that I, I could do to try to beat the deck made me worse in enough other matchups that I, I had to sort of abandon them. Okay. Let's start off with doesn't matter. I guess we'll do Godless Shrine first. Hmm, or, or, sure. Why do it now? I have played against Legendary Lock before. Why is this happening? Why is this in so many decks? We'll start off with the Manifestation. We're not cycling this turn anyway. Next turn we can go Fox, Cycle, Archfiend. As you do. Hedron Archive. This is entirely too quick. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I pay two, Cycle. Okay, and there we go. I don't like this. There's a monument, and they have two mana still, and they gain two life. Okay. Alright. At least we have some of this going on, so we can do Rescuer instead. Or we can cycle the Archfiend. Hmm. I can get a little bit more damage. Theoretically, I could present lethal next turn, but realistically, with life gain, that's not going to happen. So maybe I'm supposed to... to play it instead, and then just hit for six. This card, five mana. Yeah, good time. Oh, storm. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Some sort of mud storm, which is the greatest name for a thing in existence. Are they blast zone? No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. This makes more sense. Uh, ooh. Oh, City's Blessing. Okay. I mean, when you have that much mana, that's certainly fair enough. We're not going to get there in time. It doesn't look like it anyway. Even with only, I think it's... Well, we don't have that many lands in the deck, and we're still pretty consistently hitting our land drops every turn. That's the joy of all that cycling, I suppose. Okay. That said, we have, we're stuck with three ultimatums in hand. Oh, gah. Okay. So that's a thing. And... that's Ugin. That's Ugin. Okay, I need a deck that can beat Ugin. That's... <laughs> that's now the meta. A deck that can beat Ugin. <sighs> Whale? Whale, what can beat Ugin? I know, a deck I'll be running next time. I don't know why I want to talk like that. <sighs> this is driving me a little bit crazy. Oh, hi, Gummy Bear. 
Hello. Now the song is stuck in my head. Okay. So that's tr That's a three of that I can live with, although I can't cast it on turn one. So that's a little less than ideal. But we can cast one cycle and then cast another. Is that right? Well, regardless, let's play that first. Alright, turn to Uro or Cultivate. Growth Spiral. Okay, I was close. I was in the right direction. Aha! Okay. So in this case, we can kind of have our cake and eat it too. Alright. What you got? What do you have? Cavalier, all red. Turn three Cavalier, folks. Look at that. Also, we did that too early. Jeez. Well, okay then. Okay then. I guess... Cycle. Alright, please find land. That's a land. We can live with that. And then pass turn. Cycle the Vantasaur. Not you too. Jeez. Alright. Alright now. Mark Rosewater's on the other side pulling the RNG lever. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Sure. Might as well do it now. It totally matters. Totally matters. Alright. Well... I swear to god. Will you stop? Please? Pretty please? What do I have to do to make you stop? Alright. So I can play another Flourishing Fox. Don't have the second white right now. Alright. Do I get another? Okay. Hmm. They might think it's a bluff. Might. It's not. We can cycle Flourishing Fox for one. Okay, here goes, I guess. Let's make them do it. Okay. Well, regardless, you know, go down five, go up six, and then it gets its trigger. Oh, jeez. And they're only one land away from that. And they have a Risen Reef. Uh, they've broken me, folks. Arena has broken me. Okay. Well, against a Flame Sweep deck, I'm okay with cycling this first. Right on time, Monitor. Right on time. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call this one. They got me. They got me. Woo! Elementals. I haven't seen that in a hot minute. I like it, don't get me wrong. But turn three Cavalier is silly. It's a good silly. But it's silly. Alright. We got to play some flourishing foxes. We gotta <laughs> We gotta play some melee, I suppose. Mystic. The name fits with the pro with the avatar, I would say. Yeah. We'll go first. Triome. Yeah, let's let's do it. Give him the big hello. Triome, Fox, Land, Phantasaur. There we go. 
Uh, well, actually, instead of the Vantasaur, I'll do Horror instead. There we go. I know what this deck is. Hmm. First Strike. Arcane Flight. Okay. Okay. I was thinking it would either be Cartouche of Solidarity or Curious Obsession. Alas, neither. Okay. Hmm. So we can go for you first, and then we can start making tokens. I don't think that it matters too, too terribly much. Alright. And go for it. If we can find another land here, land into monitor. You know, I see a, I see a problem with the deck. We're, for the most part, aside from monitor, we're just naturally having to make the mana for ultimatum. Which is great, it's just too slow. You're too slow. In before Historic Anthology 4 has Sakura Tribe Elder, or some more ramp, because we don't have enough ramp in our own arena right now. <coughs> oh dear. Alright, you first. Okay, we, we got there, I guess. Would have been nice to see earlier, but that's alright. That's okay. Why did I play that there? Why on earth did I just play that? <sighs> oh well. Alright, let's see how they want to block. Block with the indestructible dude? It doesn't matter then. Okay. I mean, they're gaining life, so I can't blame them. To be honest. Okay. Pass turn. If they attack with the Vanguard, we'll just make another... Ah, uh, no we won't. No we won't. Make another token. Well, that's a problem. So we're about to get hit for seven in the air. Eight in the air. And we... are dead. We're too slow, folks. We are just... This deck is too slow. I hate to say, but after trying it out again... It just looks like what we're doing is just a little too slow. Or, I mean, we are also coming across the wrong kinds of decks. <laughs> Not that that's a real excuse. I suppose it is. But when you come across high removal decks, and you can play cards that cycle to find more of the cards you would need to replace them, and you eventually can get to Eerie Ultimatum, you're good. You're golden. But, that's not what we're playing against. I remember uh, Matt from Total MTG said he kept coming across rogues, and while I know he was talking about standard, there was a time when I kept seeing them in historic as well. A lot. A whole lot. Oh my goodness, a lot. Right. Let's see. I won't let this go on for too, too terribly much longer. Alright, play that. <laughs> More ultimatums! You know, oh, another improvement to the deck might be not having as many ultimatums. Hmm. Well, it is an especially powerful card. Um, you know, we have enough cycling that we can draw to them eventually, so maybe ultimatum needs to turn into another cycler. Or another land. Or another cycler. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. Ah. Sure. Oh, jeez. Jeez, you stop that. Oh, this is getting out of hand already. Oops. Oh, they've turned it to a 2-2 two -two accidentally. Sorry. That's, that's a drag. You hate to see it. Um, okay then. Cycle 
Oh, wait a minute. We don't have another untapped land. I'm taking a bit of a risk if I do that. It's probably worth it, though, right? Does it fly? No. Okay. Um, we could go Vile Manifestation, put Lifelink onto it, or we could get another Rescuer out. Why am I doing this main phase? It doesn't matter. They're tapped out, you know, even their creatures, so it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, sacks a creature. Okay. No, this works. This works. Can live with that. Hmm. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to sack. Oh, not again. Okay. Huh. That's the one. And then, no blocks. It's only four, but still. But still. Okay. I hate to do it, but we're going to cycle onto the rescuer just to try to keep ourselves alive. Right on time, buddy. Alright. I'll, I'll risk it. Uh, yeah. Let's go for it. This isn't anywhere near big enough. Ah, uh, they got me. They got me. Yeah, that's not even... They didn't even put it on the Hexproof... The, what is it, Paradise Druid? They didn't even put it on an especially good creature. I just didn't have... Because I'm playing cycling creatures and not playing any of the other cycle stuff, that can happen, unfortunately. I think this is, while this is a deck tech for it, uh, and gameplay footage, this is also a demonstration of maybe why this isn't the deck to run. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Hearing that creak behind me. Alright. We'll, we'll play a couple more. I'm trying to play this out to four wins, but, you know, it's not turning out so hot. So, dig it first. Whew. Oh! Oh, okay. Mulling. Either it's just really not working out for them, or this is some silly broken deck like Treasure Hunt. I don't think that's it. Alright. Play it out. And there we go. Alright, let's see what they have going on. Hmm. 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 Okay, enough of that. Oh god, not already. Not already. Please be opt. Don't be Neoform. <sighs> Let it go. Let it go. They could have a combo piece in their hand already. That, that is possible. Not likely. They could be doing this just to have a substantial board. Not likely. I'm trying to be optimistic here. As best I can, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. And they found everything except for a dual caster mage. And say, good game. They got me. That is a really good deck. I like what the deck is doing. I think that I have one dual caster and one glass pool mimic. 
Uh, so I am pretty far away from making the deck, unfortunately. But, it looks so cool to play. I'll play until I complete the quest. That's, that's what will call it, call it for me. As fun as this looks, it, it needs some improvement, or it's just not the time for it. It's just not the meta for it. That might just be it. It's just not the meta for it. Or, I just haven't come across the decks that I want to see. Not too terribly much, anyway. I would like to see this go against... Hi, Phoenix. Good to see you again. Go against, like, the uh, Lurus Pyromancer deck. The Young Pyromancer deck? Yeah, let's go for it. There we go. Drop the Vandasaur in the yard. Alright, cycle it. Here we go. Okay. Um, we can play the Manifestation here. It'd be a bit premature, but we can. I don't suppose it's. I don't suppose it's a bad idea. It it could die here, but with four toughness, I think we'll be all right. I hope we'll be all right. What you got? No. Sweet. Um. Hmm. Okay. Kind of would like to play the healer first, to be honest. Alright, let's go for it. Now this, on the other hand, could die. Make sure there are no blocks. Gain one life, one measly life. Dies to shock. And there's the fox. Dies of shock. Okay, well, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm waiting for it. It's bound to get me here. Just give it a second. Alright. Actually gonna do this first. Take action. Get... Oh gosh, yes. White mana. Absolutely. Good grief. I don't think it's right to cycle the fox here. We'll just attack. Or at least we'll see what they're doing first. Alright, we'll pass. Alright. What's about to die? What on earth is going on? Oh, okay, Storm's Wrath. That makes more sense. Alright. All the more reason not to have played it, right? Alright, so Rescuer... Fox, McLeod, Doya, Iya, Oh! Alright. Since this costs two to cycle, I might as well save it. Might as well. Okay. So they get to play their own rats. Ooh. Hmm. Just wait till I hit my ultimatums. Alright. Actually, go to end of turn first. Cycle it. Come on. There we go. Cycle it. Come on. Archfiend. Pass. We can make this work. Oh. Alright. We'll see what they do, but that'll I'll decide if I want to try to cast the Archfiend or cycle it. Probably want to cast it, right? Oh, this might be Phoenix's. Some weird Phoenix deck. Wait, no, no, wait. What's the one that runs this again? Hmm. Alright. Alright, and it gets countered. No? Okay. Uh, 
All right, what do you have? We actually can cast the sandworm next turn. Lightning strike? Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a Oh, okay. They have to burn a token. I was about to say they don't have enough mana for that. Uh, sure. Zap. Zappity zap. Alright. We'll see if they can do anything about a 7-7, seven, seven, though. I'm sure they can. Oh, okay. Oh, is this the combo? Put curiosity on it, I dare you. Uh, let's just cast it. This is a 6-5, that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll just cast it. Alright, one damage to presumably me. No? Okay, we're gonna try to kill the sandworm this turn then. Frantic inventory. None in the yard. Alright, so one more to it. Alright, can you kill it? I'm sure they can. Well, it's remote. Oh, nope, that's it. That'll do it. It's dead. It's dead, Jim. Alright. I would, I could really use an ultimatum. Niv-Mizet. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in more than a month at this point. It has been a while, dude. Okay. So instead of playing the 6-5, maybe I'm... Mm, no. We just play the 6-5, don't we? We can cycle it. Top 10 level 99 plays. Uh, we can play a vile manifestation, but that's just going to die too. It takes one no matter what, and they don't have to cast too much to kill it. But, let's see, how many do instances do I have in the yard? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, at least it's a threat that they have to answer. Alright, cast it domes. Okay, man. Okay. Actually, no, they don't. They could just kill me this turn. They have 5 regardless. Uh, six, when you count Niv Mizza if it pokes my face instead. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. They're targeting you. Okay. They're not targeting me just yet. It, it doesn't matter, but I guess that's okay. Ooh. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, yeah, shock plus trigger kills vile manifestation. So at this point, yeah, since we don't have any creatures with reach or flying other than Archfiend, yeah, actually, Ultimatum will save us because of Archfiend, but that's it. Oh, crap! I didn't see that it was saying my turn. You genius. Alright. There's one. Now that it's very thoroughly too late, there's one. <sighs> what? Okay. Okay, you're just showing off now. Yeah, so they cast one and they get to draw two cards. So, if they had targeted me, I'm already dead, actually. I'm already dead. What are they doing? Why are they doing that? <laughs> uh, Alright. 
I think that completed the quest, so if that's the case, then I guess that'll be it for... No, one more. Okay, good, good, good. One more, one more. One more. Uno mas. That, that would be a reason why you'd want to keep enough ultimatums, though. Four may be too many, but you want to find it at some point. They're speaking of... Okay. Come on, deck. Don't let me down. Pretty, please? And then, of course, I, I say that, and I get another one. Of course. Alright. Well... And they have the idol. Let me guess. And then they have the Hedron Archive coming up. Cycle... Uh, hmm... Oh, okay. Okay. We can make that work. Having a 4-4 trample. Karn. Archive. Everything. Have all the things. Mindstone. Okay. Not yet. We're getting there, but not yet. Alright. Ow. I mean, hey, they might as well, right? I could play the Manifestation for... No, I can't. No, I can't. Well, there... Of course, there it goes. Hiya! Alright. Do you have it? Ugin. Ugin the Ineffable. Or they could just pop Blast Zone. I guess that that would do it. There's no need to do it right now, though, so... Let's attack. Alright, make them pop it now. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. I guess, on the bright side, that made it a little bit bigger. Giggy. The triums do come in tapped, but they can cycle as well. And that'll make this bad boy bigger. Oh, Mystic Forge. Oh boy. There we go. That's more like what I'm used to. Hmm. Alright. So start with the Vantasaur. The cheap one out of the way. Cycle again. Okay. Hit them for six. Theoretically present lethal next turn, but there's a guardian idol. So not real not really. Not realistically. Let's get our color diversity going on just in case. So we have one of each shockland now. There's Ugin. I knew you'd show up. Never doubted you for a second. Alright. Oh, there we go. Shouldn't have any uh, non-lands at one mana in this deck, except maybe Grafdigger's Cage? It is a Blast Zone deck. Oh, jeez. Okay, do it again. Huh. Whale. What was that? Okay. Hmm. Yep, we're about to have ultimatum next turn. Okay. Ah. I don't want to give away what I have, so I'll keep hitting pass instead of resolve all if possible. And or or uh cycling it. You know, as you do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. 
Okay. And there's the monument. Okay. Huh. Well, I'm waiting for Aetherflux Aether Reservoir then. Sack the Inventor's Fair for it to go get it? Ah, no need. Oh, jeez. Yeah, with Mystic Forge out, no need. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a combo. Unless they... They would have to find quite a few lands on top of the deck. They have to find three in a row. All right. Yeah, after this, I actually will uh, cycle the Triumph. I like what they're doing, though. Alright. Cycle it now. I have Ultimatum in hand. Please, for the love of God, just let me cast this card. Please. I like your deck. I like what you're doing. Please let me cast it. Okay. Okay, good. That's, they saved the Ugin so that if they hit a land pocket, they can still uh, go through it. Look at how much life that is, too. Look at how much mana that is. Hmm, there's Reservoir. That's what I was worried about. Oh boy, anything they cast after this is going to gain them even more life. And they have uh, Mind Stones and Hedron Archives to draw them through. So, again, it would take... It's dead. I'm dead at this point. It's, it's just not happening. Let's watch them combo off on me. Is another Mind Stone. Jeez. Yeah, that ship has officially sailed. And... Power up the base cannon. Fire. Alright, well... Okay, so what have I learned today? What have I learned from playing this deck? Well, number one, it's too slow. Uh, number two, probably not that many ultimatums. That's entirely too many, I suppose. If I were, let's, to, uh, to do the deck again, we already have as many Flourishing Foxes and Vile Manifestations, and um, what's the 3-1 for 2? Valiant Rescuer. We already have as many of those as we can, so we can't put any more in, unfortunately. Other things that I could run, I could run more hollow ones, but unless I'm cycling one mana cyclers, the lands, um, Flourishing Fox, Dranith Healer, and Imposing Vantasaur, unless I'm cycling those, it doesn't change the cost of it. It'll still be 5 minus 2, but now you have two fewer lands, right? The cheapest I've, I've cast it so far is for three mana, and that, or for one mana, rather. Uh, but when you account for two one-mana cyclers, it's effectively three. I don't know that that gets the job done. Archfiend of Ifnir is good at five mana. Might be a bit slow, and we also didn't come across a lot of creature-heavy decks. I think that the meta right now is a bunch of artifacts, and so what I would do is probably put the find a way to put the Mythos of Netherite back in, just to give me some... Uh, removal that I can use against them. I can take out some number of Eerie Ultimatums, and... Um, I mean, some of these, like Wasteland Scorpion, you would only cast it out in the absolute pinchiest of pinches. Maybe this doesn't need to stay around, but like... So, Wasteland Scorpion, Eerie Ultimatum, one of them, in for two... Uh, Mythos of Nethroi, so that it can actually destroy stuff like that. I need some sort of removal in, in the deck. And maybe also a Draineth Healer, but it cycles for one, so I'd like to hang on to that. Um, yeah, so I, I guess that's where I am right now. Uh, oh, oh, one other quick little thing. Let me look at how many lands I had. I just took... Oh my god! That was with 24 lands! Now I know why it's 24, it's to make 7 mana. But, hmm, that's another thing I could have swapped out. Uh, discard changes, because I, I missed what I actually got <laughs> taken care of. Oh yeah, uh, we're at plat 3 now. 
Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a bit unfortunate, but that's something we can try out. In fact, I'll give it one more since the video is already going on for a while. I'll give it one more. Let's make those changes really quickly. All right, so we'll take out an eerie ultimatum, a wasteland scorpion, and a land. Take out a swamp. Go to 23, and doot, doot, doot. Put in one, two, three. All right, we'll see if it comes up. All right, we'll see if it makes the difference. Could even go down one more ultimatum. It might not be wrong to try that. Just go with two ultimatums, since it's that expensive of a card, right? Oh, jeez, wait a minute. Uh, I meant to hit play. There we go. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. You have to actually pull it out of your sideboard first. It won't do it for you automatically. Okay, so one more. One more. It, maybe this is the secret sauce. Maybe this is what we were missing. We didn't have any removal after all. They had a good idea with uh, putting Wilt, like naming Wilt with Meddling Mage. It does cycle, though it doesn't synergize with um, with Ultimatum. It does synergize with Flourishing Fox, well, with all the Cycler uh, cares about cycling cards. So maybe I could have put Wilt in there instead. Worst case scenario, you just cycle it. If it's dead, just cycle it. Okay. Well, we don't get a chance to try it out just yet, but we'll get there soon enough. Play this first. Alright. Well, whatever it is, they found what they wanted. Alright. Every time, you see, I play the card, and then try to get the hair out of my face, but it has another option for me. I'll get used to that eventually. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Cycle first, see what we get. Could actually do it yet again. Or we could cycle the Titan Othrax and give it Trample. A. They weren't going to block with it anyway. And of course, as soon as I do that, there's a flourishing box. Of course. Hmm. Alright. Lots of mana. Oh, jeez. Ah ha Okay. Okay. Well, that does power up the manifestation. I wasn't thinking about that when I built the deck, but I guess we have a tiny buff there. If it actually is mill. We'll see. Oh, no, it's self-mill, isn't it? No, if, if an opponent would. So never mind. It is just mill then. Wow, that escalated quickly. Give them the nice for that. That was a lot. That was a lot to take in. Who is calling me? Bet you it's telemarketing. Uh, it's telemarketing. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. That's no bueno. Yeah, let's cycle it. I think we're good on white mana. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, we can make something this game. We can make something happen. At least that's the hope. A 5-4 with Trample. Let's go. We're about to have another with Trample, and we can get lifelink. Another Lotus Cobra. Jeez. Yeah, of course they have a land. Woo! Give them the nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm hoping that this is just too little too late. Hydroid Crisis for how much? I missed that. Two. Okay. We're good. We're okay. We'll live. Cycle onto you. 
Ah, uh, jeez. Put it on to you. Oh, did we find? Yes, we found one. We found another one. All right. Can we please, please get there? I mean, they both have trample. I see what they're doing, but... Whew! Okay. Counting to see if they can live through this. Yeah, if they, they have to block with the other Cobra as well. Yep, this, is, this puts them into exactly lethal. They didn't block with the other Cobra. Alright, but if they had, that would have given them a little bit more time. I don't know if it would have actually gotten them there. We didn't see the Mythos, but I guess... Now that looked less like my game plan working, although it definitely did, and more my opponent's game plan not working for some reason. Uh, still, I mean, I'll take it. It's, <laughs> it's not my baby, but it's a deck I brewed. I'm glad to see it work. Alright, that's it for now then. Take care, Magic Community, and I guess I'll see, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!